हेलो फॉक्स आई एम योर होस्ट अली राज एंड यू आर वाचिंग गैस एट मैन हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू दिस लेसन इन दिस लेसन लेट्स वी कंटिन्यू विद आवर ए डब्ल्यू एस सेज मेकर डेमो एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइस सेज मेकर स्टूडियो प्लीज नो डैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सेज मेकर स्टूडियो प्रीटी मच थ्रू आउट द इंटायर कोर्स सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी सुपर फन एंड एक्चुअली मच ईजियर कंपेयर टू प्रीटी मच एवरी लेक्चर डेट वी हैव कवर्ड सो फार इफ यू गाइज रिकॉल इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी वेंट थ्रू अ क्विक फन डेमो टू शो यू गाइज द ए डब्ल्यू एस मार्केट प्लेस एंड वी हैव बीन एबल टू एक्सप्लोर हेयर आवर योलो वी थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्टर एंड वी अपलोडेड अ बंच ऑफ इमेज एंड वी हैव बीन एबल टू टेस्ट इट आउट एंड इट एक्चुअली डिट प्रीटी गुड जॉब uh okay so what i wanted to you show you guys right now is the aws sage maker studio so amazon sage maker studio is a web based visual interface where developer can build train and deploy ai machine learning model in one place so this is simply what the sage maker studio looks like and in the next slide i am going to show you guys we are going to jump right ahead to our sage maker studio and then i am going to explore pretty much every single topic here but this is the simple the interface everything is contained in one place so you can go ahead and launch a jupyter notebook from here for example so you can also upload your data and upload maybe any other jupyter notebook from here you can also run multiple experiment uh, you can have everything contained in one visual interface and that's why sage maker studio enhances product productivity by 10 times since it offer very much higher visibility and control compared to regular notebook instances and what is really powerful as well about sage maker studio is that developer can manage experiments debug machine learning models monitor models for bias and drift all that in here in one visual web based interface Uh, okay so let's we show you guys how we can navigate to sage maker studio so let's go back and head to amazon sage maker here and if you guys go up you will see studio so you can go ahead and click on studio and then afterward you should be able to see there right now we have our amazon sage maker home page and you should be able to see the sage maker studio here it's telling you launch the sage maker studio so please go ahead and click on that all right so here we go uh, we have our control panel within our amazon sage maker studio and what you guys needed to do especially if you are just starting sage maker studio for the very first time uh, you, you will need to create here a user so if you go ahead and click on that plus sign in here and this is going to tell you i wanted to create a new user profile i am going to set everything and it is the same just the default value here and i am going to also set the uh, air blown identity and access management role to here the default and then i am going just going to click on the next and it's telling me here sync studio setting so if you wanted to configure the studio ide and notebook for your organization just keep everything as is like next as well and then afterward is telling me here just click submit this is going to create here any other domain for you basically uh, but they already have a domain here so what you need to do is to click on launch and then you click on the studio that is going to jump in here the amazon sage maker studio and here we go it was our aws sage maker studio home page so you guys from a very high level of what's going on in here because a lot of information a lot of the functionality so on the left hand side here again simply go ahead and click on that arrow pointing upward to the upload files so what you guys see here these are all different notebooks so let me show you guys so all of these are extension ipyn be all of these are jupiter products i can also upload the data so you can also upload let's say csv no i have csv file uploaded here as well okay and that simply how you can upload your data file what you can see as well here there are many option available first one is you can go go ahead and click on the amazon sage maker jump start and please note that every single plug in here we are going to cover in great detail we can also have a very full day that cover amazon sage maker jump start Uh, we have any other day that's cover amazon sage maker autopilot and 
also we will learn about SageMaker Data Wrangler as well. So basically SageMaker Jumpstart if you click on it here you should be able to see basically applications uh, that has already been created for you. So you have example uh, model if you click on the model for example you should be able to see all the different models already trained for you. So you can go go ahead and get this model you can essentially build your own data set so if you would like to retrain these models using your own custom data set you can so for example here i have the inspection v3 this is an image classifier model by they can see that this has been trained for example using the image net data set but it's also again many many model available to the static if there is a 322 model available which is pretty pretty crazy to me here we can have for example if you scroll to the right you, you should be able to see we have ResNet 80 and ResNet is one of the state of the art artificial neural network which stands for the new things about neural network and to wonder it has been trained on the large data set called ImageNet data set and you can see as well many many application or model available for you and if you would like to let's say explore all the models you should be able to filter out your model based on the problem type for example i could want to do maybe regression or maybe wanted to do text classification or maybe object detection no it's regression for example and you will see here many options available for you if you want to do linear regression or wanting to actually boost regression again pretty incredible and all what you need to do is just a few clicks and then click start a new job for you and so you can of course as i mentioned upload your own specific custom data sets as well if you wanted to maybe try let's say object detection for example here we go multiple networks available so we have for example ssd or single shot detector uh, we can also have the resonance as i mentioned earlier many many available networks even models and a lot of these are in different frameworks for example this one here is in pytorch this is a pytorch snowball uh, we can also see some of them are in tensorflow and this is a simply google framework to build train and deploy ai and ml model at scale then if you can go back and show how you again you can also filter out the model based on the problem type so if you click on the problem type you will see that you can have the multiple problem type uh, for example accounts uh, so let's say here financial for example you will see that i have the multiple projects readily available for you and you can go ahead and tweak all these different models and of course upload your own customer based data set let's say I want to do a sum loan, maybe for example, credit card decision. For example, if you click on it, you should be able to see that now you have the one solution. Uh, and you can just go ahead and click launch solution that is going to launch. So, solution there is a solution for you, and there is also a ton of documentation and your explanation as well. And what's going on here behind the scene? Okay, let me go back. There is just a quick overview of Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart if you wanted to explore what we call it autopilot uh, essentially you can go ahead and you can kick start a training job and you can essentially do everything on autopilot and all you need to do is you need to upload your data to s3 and you need to specify whether the train model artifacts are going to be healed uh, you just say create experiment and that's it everything is done for you on autopilot very credible and again we are going to discuss that in greater detail and you can also do what we recall on amazon SageMaker curriculum if you click on it you should be able to see that the director is the simply a tool where you can visualize data perform feature engineering clean up the data many many options available for you here and you can do all of that again with just a few clicks of button and without writing any single code at all all right next what i wanted to show you guys is if you scroll to the bottom here you should be able to see a notebook python python 3 so if you just click on that you should be able to see a new notebook that open in here and this is exactly the same as we have done before if you guys remember when we instantiate the notebook instances 
here it's exactly the same i can go ahead within the jupyter notebook and i can go and code here so i can say for example x equals to 4 if you want to run this cell you press shift and enter and here is telling you the kernel is still starting and basically the kernel on the bottom and show starting and if you would like again it will take maybe a couple of seconds for it to start but essentially you can go ahead and you can select for example here you have the multiple images available only one if you are going data science uh, genetic data science if you wanted to let's say developing code within pytorch then every pytorch library you can do that you can also scroll to the bottom we also have the tensorflow as well again pretty broad function and you can also see that here we are talking about python 3 and let's wait maybe for a couple of seconds until your code node shows it's ready okay and then you can go go ahead and execute that code basically what i wanted to do is i wanted to say x equal to 4 and then i wanted to show what is in x uh, then i wanted to maybe write y equal to 5 and then show what is in y and then to insert a new cell you press b on your keyboard and then it's going to insert a new cell for you and then maybe i would like to add uh, let's say x plus y so we are gonna say set equal to s let's say times y for example i just wanted to multiply them together instead of adding them and then i also wanted to see what is in that for example so once this kernel is ready you can go go ahead and actually run through out this code simply you can see kernel then you can say restart kernel and run all cell and there is going to run every single cell for you and please note that this strategy what we have here that's what we are going to use pretty much throughout the entire code so on the left hand side you guys will see all of these notebook is just a sample of those of them we are going to go through all of these okay we are not going to use the older way of defining a notebook instances and all of that we are going to do everything in here in amazon sage maker studio so here we go now you can see that the kernel it said is right now it's idle so we can go go ahead and actually run it so if you press shift and enter here we go i put number four in x y equal to five i put five in y set equal two times by now i have 20. simply four times five pretty good i can see of course as well maybe add let's say if i wanted to insert a new cell before that if you press up uh, if you press uh, is going to insert a new cell and you can simply say for example welcome to my first code script something like that we can go ahead and change that cell from code to a markdown cell and you can go go ahead and run it so if you press shift and enter right now you will see that right now it become a test and it will not going to be executed if you wanted to maybe make it a little bit bold you can go ahead and add the hashtag here and add space chip and enter see that right now it's become a little bit bigger size and now it looks like a header okay all right one last thing i wanted to show you guys what is very very important question is how can i turn off this kernel please note that this is kernel running game meaning it's executing in the background and it's the actually charging you money as well of course if you are outside the aws free time but in general i want you guys to first learn how to save it for example you can go ahead and just say save and that is going to save it for you here i can go ahead and close that and that in order for me to shut down that kernel on the left hand side here and if you go through this logo you will see that there is running terminal and kernel just click on it and there are all the different kernel that are running behind the scenes please please before you exit the amazon sage maker studio please again make sure to turn off everything in here so all these are running instances and costing you money behind the scene especially if you are running machine learning at five times four times large so please make sure to say i want to shut down that down uh, are you sure yes please and make sure that everything here is clear i want to shut up that down yeah please go ahead and we wanted to shut down that curtain season everything is clear right now make sure you run it again perfect so we are good 
that's mean we are not going to be incurring any additional charges all right okay so that's again a very quick tool on the amazon sagemaker studio get excitement ko like kare channel ko subscribe kare aur bell icon ko daba de taki is jaisi updates aapko milti rahe